The game at the O2 Arena gives us some highlights to show you. They're going to kick off crunch time for us. Bradley Beal, first quarter. Thomas Sadoransky with the spin move and the layup. Right? And then a little later, we got Emmanuel Moutier with the drive and the dunk. Jump shots travel, Tracy. <laughs> T-Mac, if they told you in the middle of the season we're going to London, how would you feel? Man, gas the plane up. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. He's okay the weather there is better than the weather is in L.A. right now. Going to, that. The commute going from to the, the East to London is no different than it is to L.A. Mavs mending some fences. The Mavs said they are optimistic they can reconcile and move forward with point guard Dennis Smith Jr. Why are they playing with And are insisted, insistent, sources told ESPN's Tim McMahon, they won't trade the guy they picked with their 2017 lottery pick unless they get good value to return. A source told Tim, quote, plan A is to still fix this. Brian, does this mean they just didn't get offers they That's wanted? That's exactly right. You took the words right out of my mouth. <laughs> right. This is, uh, our, our plans got public and now we got a pullback. <laughs> That's amazing. Blake, did he deserve a fine? The leak fined him $15,000 for, quote, verbally abusing an official at the end of this loss to the Jazz. Tracy, do yes. you think... Uh, the fine's worth it if you can worthy provide of it. face worthy to face of feedback. It. That is face Great to face rip, feedback. Lip right there. reader. I mean, he, yeah. <laughs> he berated the, the ref there. I think he deserves 15. What you think, Brian? Uh, yes, I don't think you can get away with that, and uh, he's going to afford it. Yeah, there you go. Um, New York Daily News reporting that the Sixers are interested in trading for Noah Vonley. Would this be a big help? No? Yes? I mean, Noah Vonley is having the best season of his career, so and he would help the depth in the 76ers. I don't know what the 76ers are going to trade. I'd like to point out it's been six weeks now since uh, Markel Fultz has been gone. Why did they we put don't, a Why they said it would be four to six well, weeks? Now, why would they do that? It's not about him. All it's that a, does it's a strange is decision have us to say, say hey, it's been six oh weeks. My. Yeah. You know what? I forgot all about Markel Fultz. Well, that's what maybe they're hoping. <laughs> oh, <laughs> my. Because he's still I've... on the roster. And in my mind, what happens with him affects, and his trade situation affects wow. what they're going to do the rest of the season. And I don't know. Uh, Vonley is the fact that we're talking about Vonley and not Fultz is a victory for the 76ers. Yeah, I mean, right if he now. could come in and knock down out, outside shots playing with those those big three, I mean, it's a, it's a great asset to him. I don't think it's a huge – that roster does not need huge ripping up. No. I think it needs some tweaks. That's so it. they can figure That's out how to do it. Brett Brown yeah. has been like – I don't want to say pleading, but he has been very heavily hinting that please get me some depth. Oh, I, please I give think, me some depth. I think I think you had it right the first time. <laughs> Absolutely. Yeah, so any depth, <laughs> even if it's a Nick. <laughs> oh, wow. Well, our Darryl league Moore pass does. game of the night is Steve Martinez, our Bulls player. at Nuggets at nine o'clock Eastern. The Bulls not not so good at basketball these days, but the Nuggets <laughs> have the second best record in the West, <laughs> and they'll look to bounce back from the beatdown they received from the Warriors on Tuesday. If you're the Nuggets, how happy are you to see the Bulls come to town, Tracy? Yeah, you're jumping for joy. <laughs> <laughs> Bounce back from that bad loss to the uh, end of the, the road trip. End of the road trip too for the Bulls. This, yeah, that, this, this might get this might get Bulls. ugly. We know how it is, Oof. man. For a bad team in the road trip, and they are bad. At the buzzer just in, the Heat finding Dion Waiters for publicly complaining about his lack of playing time this week. Hold back because Waiters. This is only, he's only appeared in five games since he missed more than a year with an ankle injury. After losing to the Bucks, Waiters loudly voiced his displeasure saying, quote, F patient, I want to play, I've been patient, I want to play, I've been patient long enough, what do I got to be patient for? Come on, man, I've been patient. Has he been patient, Tracy? This is, this is Allen Iverson practice rant worthy. <laughs> um, I think everyone knows that, it's time, what are we waiting for? If I'm out there, play me. Eric Spolster said those comments were, quote, obviously not acceptable behavior, <laughs> according to Ira Winderman at the Sun Sentinel. <laughs> what do you make of that, Trace? No, I think Dion it just has to, he really has to be patient. <laughs> it really does, man, because I think they're looking out for his best interest. He's been out for quite some time, and you don't want to rush back, right? You don't want to rush, rush back and, and potentially hurt yourself again. So. Just roll with how they, they do things over so there. So the Heat did find Hassan Whiteside last year when he complained about playing time. So this is not like this is unheard of for the organization. Waiters has put up numbers when he has played. So I can understand why he's like, why am I not playing and we're losing. They just got blown out the other day. But this just goes back to when you invest in Deion Waiters, as the Heat have done, this is part of the Deion Waiters experience. So you want him when he's good, you have to take him the downsides too. And, and look. We, we talked about this at the beginning of the show with Boogie Cousins. 
You are signing on for the Boogie Cousins experience. You are signing on for the Deion Waiters yeah. experience. Personally, I always would prefer a player with passion. I want a player who's fighting to play. You mentioned Hassan Whiteside. There have been times this last couple of seasons where Hassan Whiteside looks like he really couldn't care about playing. I'd rather have the guy who's fighting to play. True, 